Today I am unboxing and setting up a light box for product photography. I have some merchandise I'm going to be putting online and photographing so I thought a light box is really important. As I mentioned in some of my videos I think light is so important and having the right light can take things from looking kind of basic to looking a lot more put together. So we're going to unbox, we're going to set it up and then I'm going to get some product shots and I will put those in as well. I have literally not even broken into this box yet. I chose this because it actually, um, the size was really good. The price was good for the size. I believe it also folds up really nice. So it is easy to store. If you know us in real life, you've probably heard me complain about, not even complain, joke about how our whole house is basically a studio at this point between the two of us. So definitely needs to, oh, it looks pretty nice actually. Definitely needs to be easy to store. So this box. So what it's looking like, it looks like the light box itself is made of a thick plastic, so it folds up and has Velcro to keep itself together. It also has a, a phone mount, so I actually have a few of these laying around anyways, but it's always nice to have one, and it's got two different pieces that can be screwed in, so somewhere there's actually probably a piece to hold your phone for photography. I didn't see that on the website, but that's actually really appealing. Mm -hmm. Nope, it actually probably goes to this. Comes with a little tripod. If it's a, a good size for the light box itself, I think that's pretty great. So it says here it comes with a shooting tent, backdrops, white, black, blue, and gray. And then it comes with a USB cable and a tripod. So it's supposed to be pretty easy and the instructions are literally just super easy pictures. I'm gonna aim this more at the desk at this point so you can see what I'm doing. So, mm -hmm. so this is all like a thick plastic. Okay, so here are our backdrops. We will get to those in a minute. Let's go back to the instructions. So it's telling me to lay it flat. So what I thought was really cool is this is actually a hole in the top. If you want full lighting in the pictures to be taken from the front, this is great. But if you actually want to put something down into the light box and photograph from the top, that is what that's for. And that's awesome. So here's our cord to be plugging it in. So that's obviously the top. And then this is going to be the bottom. And then there's a bunch of snaps. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see this, but there is three pieces on each side. Essentially, these three pieces have to come together and they're going to form a box. The box is still going to be open in the front. So I'm just starting at the closest one to me. And I did this snap. Now here, there's a hole in it, which has to come out. Because then the snap is going to go through that. This one is going to come up. And essentially... This is almost going to act like a bearing between these two snaps. And then you snap this. So now that I have it figured out, that's actually super easy. Setup is going to be super, super easy. And storage, I think, is going to be awesome too. Same thing. We're going to put this, put that hole through the snap at the top, go here. And I think it's easiest to do that first. And then you can snap this one and this one here. So then, you see we've got LED lights at the top. And you have your light box. I think this was like 40 bucks, so I think that's really, really worth it. So then we have our backdrops. I see. It's going to be super easy to put into. We have white, gray, blue and then black i'm sure you guys know which one i'm going for so this is supposed to work like an infinity wall so if you are not familiar with an infinity wall in photography oh actually in photography when you have an infinity wall it's essentially a piece of paper or fabric that go all the way down the wall and you would actually stand on it and it gives you that nice seamless background so let's see it is perfect, honestly. That's really cool. Um,
There are little tiny tabs on these backdrops. And essentially on the back of this, there are those same cutouts. Literally, you just push those tabs through there, and as long as they're gentle, they should hold. I guess I would get a carrying case that's closer to my ring light carrying case. However, until you get that, this is really nice to keep everything together and keep it nice and intact. So let's plug it in. So there is a little cutout right there that we're going to plug this here into. So there we have it, our fully functioning light box with the underneath, which truthfully, I don't know if it's me or if you can see it on film, but because of the light that we have running, the, um, the ring light, it's not looking super illuminated, but I think to put products in there, it's going to make for really nice pictures. So let's find out. I'm trying really hard to not keep this, but um, don't I need this? No! I do. No! I need this. So I'm probably going to keep one. See how that photographs? This is a piece of amethyst, which we are going to carry some stones. This is a dragon's blood bracelet. Dragon's blood is a type of jasper. The stones are four millimeter. Twelve millimeter, yeah, so they're pretty big. I think that's so pretty. And of course, we're going to carry everything Dragon's Blood, Dragon's Blood Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a light box, I think this is a really great option. If you are a small business owner or an artist, these kind of things will really take your pictures and your product listings up to the next level. Definitely worth it. It's cheap, yes, but it's light and compact and it is easy to store and easy for small pieces such as this. Definitely recommend. You'll find a link down below to that in my Amazon shop. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell to make sure you don't miss a thing and I'll see you next time. If you are a small business owner or an artist or anybody that is smelling. That is smelling. <laughs> <laughs>